Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode. We've got some exciting things going on in the studio as I just got a brand new tech travel pack. You guys know that I obviously A, love to travel and B, love my tech. So I think those two go perfect hand in hand. Just wanted to let you guys know, I managed to hook it up with Air SF, who I seem to be buying all my packs from recently as I absolutely love their stuff. I will be giving away one of their packs for watching this episode. Just make sure you comment down below one of your favorite tech items or maybe where you would bring their pack. And by my next tech travel pack episode, I've been saying that a lot, I will be giving away one of their backpacks, packs. I've got all of them here in the studio and I'm super excited for one of you guys to try them out as I absolutely love them. This one here is meant specifically for traveling and supposed to be your replacement carry-on. I actually don't really like carry-ons as you're kind of limited to them rolling around. I do prefer backpacks, but always find they aren't as big and you can't fit as much in until this guy has come around. This has fit everything into my pack and even more so than I would normally fit in a travel-on. So I can manage to fit all of my tech gear, some of my clothes all into this one lovely backpack and I've just taken this on one of my recent trips. I was out in New York for the weekend. Oh, I just love backpacks. So with this guy, you have the two front-loading zippers, which I'm always the biggest fan of, so you don't have to reach all the way into the bottom of your pack just to get something. The main zipper around the end opens up fully, and this is where you can store a pair of jeans, a shirt, even your kicks. It does still have its own little shoe compartment at the bottom, which I'm super fond of. Super minimal, super comfy, and just ultra practical. It's like they read my mind when I was thinking of a backpack. I will leave them linked down below. I cannot recommend these guys enough. They're based out of San Francisco and they make great stuff. So we're coming on over to the main table where all of this gear sits and we've got the main travel pack here. We'll go through all of this gear pretty quickly, but all of this actually fits into here with extra space for some clothes. I managed to fit two pairs of jeans, an extra t-shirt, underwear, and socks because you can't get enough socks when you travel. First off, we've got the Surface Book Pro, which I've been using a lot when I travel, mainly for two purposes, because it can handle all of my 4K edits, plus this lovely, lovely feature of this guy disconnecting, and now I can use this as a standalone tablet. I can leave this back in my hotel room and just have this guy to float around. So super, super versatile, something that unfortunately my MacBook Pro just can't do. It of course has a dbrand skin, carbon black with orange, as you know, Probably from the setup in all of my videos, orange is my jam. CalDigit Tough HD to store all of my files. Once again, two purposes. First, I guess it is orange. And second, this guy is rugged as it has this protective rubber layer around. So even when I've dropped this, it's been okay. It hasn't corrupted any of my files. Such a solid option and very easy to spot even when it's very deep within my pack. Camera wise, we are currently recording with the A7R2 with my brand new Vadis 18mm 2.8. Perfect for landscape and for vlogging as it's got a super wide angle, super wide view. When I want to get a bit more robust, a bit more portable, don't need to worry about this action cam as much. I've been actually using the Monster Vision action cam. This thing just came to me around a month ago. It isn't as expensive as a GoPro. It unfortunately can't record in 4K, but I use this mostly for action sports. So when I want to get a higher frame rate, I think this records up to 120 frames per second. 1080p is perfect and the video quality is also on point. Some accessories for those cameras, for the A7R2, I usually bring the Benro Travel Tripod. Honestly, the best tripod that I could ask for when traveling, as in these circumstances, having something that's low profile, slim, and not too heavy makes a huge difference. Once again, highly, highly recommended. For the monster camera, I've been using the Sandmark Pole. This thing is once again built like a tank, and I think it's been to seven or eight different countries. It's been bent, it's been smacked all around and it still performs like when I got it on day one. Audio game is super important when you're traveling and I have two headphones that I can't recommend enough. Most of you already know the Bose QC35s and the brand new Sony MDR-1000Xs, which I actually think are replacing these guys as my new and favorite pair of noise canceling headphones. These are super comfy, they give me no fatigue and they are, in my opinion, maybe even better than the Boses, and I didn't think that was possible. My full review on these is linked in the channel. I will leave that up here as well. Bluetooth speaker when I'm either, once again, two options, A, in the hotel room doing some late night edits, or B, hanging out by the beach somewhere. This is the Sony XB2, the extra base model. 
won't even lie, once again, when it's orange, I saw it and I had to get it. And I'm not too sure if you can see this on camera, I actually have bits of sand ingrained into it as I had this with me in Cabo. It's been performing without any issues and usually lives in my pack. Other little bits of accessories that still live in the pack, the first being a portable power bank. It has 20,000 milliamps of juice. It is built once again like a tank made out of aluminum and you can see how much use I've got of it. It is pretty dinged up, but it still doesn't affect its performance because it's so solid and this has charged my iPhone, my A7R2, my portable Bluetooth speaker, and even my headphones, all with this little guy. Something which I'll include in this travel pack, but they're maybe the most untech related items, but I still consider these the essentials when you travel. Notebook, you never know when you need to jot down notes, have some creative ideas, and a pen, especially for filling out immigration forms. And to round everything out, you guys know that I love to include a pair of shades and maybe even some kicks in my tech travel bag guides. These are of course a pair of Oakley frog skins. Just pick these up in the orange colorway. And last but not least, my newest pair of kicks that I just picked up. These are my favorite pair of Nikes. These are the Flyknit Racers in the triple black colorway. Super lightweight, lets your feet breathe, especially when you're on a plane. You don't need to have your feet all stinky. Love this silhouette. They are my absolute favorites. These, once again, will be living in that backpack. And I think that wraps up all of the tech in today's episode. Just be sure to comment one of your favorite items that you just saw, whether it's the shades, whether it's the pack, whether it's the shoes, just let me know down below in the comments. And on my next episode, I promise to give away something from the Air SF lineup. Absolutely love their packs. I wish all of you a happy trip if you're planning on going somewhere. And if you're not, I'm hoping this will give you some ideas of what to bring with you on your next adventure. I will catch the rest of you, of course, in one of my next episodes or hopefully in one of my vlogs. Peace.